Jesse Lingard turned 31 in December. Just 18 months ago, his instrumental performances for West Ham made him one of the most desirable free agents on the market. And yet he hasn't played competitive football since April 2023 and has been without a club for over six months. So, what's happened? Former teammates of Lingard talk about a guy who's been popular at all of his clubs and played at a level, including a World Cup semi-final, that automatically commands respect among his fellow professionals. But his last Premier League appearance was as a two-minute substitute for Nottingham Forest against Manchester United eight months ago. And he hasn't made a 90-minute appearance since August of 2022. That was only his second in 15 months. It's been a period of drift for a player who previously won 32 England caps and contributed to some of Manchester United's better moments since Sir Alex Ferguson's retirement, including scoring the winning goal in the 2016 FA Cup final. There have been some nagging injuries, some personal issues and only sporadic glimpses of his undoubted talent. And a little more than two years since his last England appearance, the life of, quote, Jay Lings involves an entirely different routine these days taking a ball and going outside alone, other than a personal trainer, to work on his fitness. Lingard has started turning up at a sports centre in Newton Heath, the area of North Manchester where Man United were founded, to go through his drills, work up a sweat, and then upload the pictures to his social media channels with snappy phrases such as keep pushing or positivity in progress. Even the hardest days will eventually pass, read one recent post. We only do positive. The intention, presumably, is to show potential employers how hard he's working, how devoted he remains to the sport, whatever anyone might say, and how he's ready for a new challenge. His ambition, it seems, is to find a team in the US. Motivation, hunger and love for the game, read another recent post. But unfortunately for Lingard, the new MLS season does not start until February. Nothing has been agreed and, over the last six months, the football industry is cynical enough for many people to question his priorities. Why is someone with his ability out of work? Does he not care? Does this not hurt his professional pride? Surely nobody would want to be a non-footballing footballer. And these questions are understandable because there's nothing orthodox about a footballer of Lingard's age spending half a year or possibly longer out of the game. But there is some context here. And if anything, the nature of modern day football makes it likely that we'll see more of this happening in the future. Here we have a man of extraordinary wealth who's in a position where he does not have to rush into what he does next. It is not about a shortage of offers. According to people with knowledge of the situation, who will remain anonymous to protect their positions, or that Lingard holds any arrogant assumptions about the level that he should be playing. It's more about waiting for the deal that suits him best, rather than feeling compelled or pressured to accept whatever comes his way. A famous example of what not to do comes in the form of Michael Owen, who, without a club at the end of his career, decided to join Stoke, despite obviously not suiting manager Tony Pulis's style of play. I must admit that when I signed for Stoke, I did so with absolutely no joy, Owen wrote in his 2019 autobiography. It was just a job, and I signed only because I thought it was the right thing to do at the time. What else could I do? Owen would retire at the end of one miserable season, and for Lingard, the attitude seems to be, why rush? He had previously spent several weeks training with El Etifak, the Saudi Pro League club where Steven Gerrard is the manager. Before that, Lingard had a similar arrangement at West Ham, but nothing more came of it, and all the talk of Saudi Arabia fizzled out too. Wolves toyed with the idea of moving for him, other clubs in the Premier League discussed his availability, along with one from Italy, but nothing has worked out, and it's worth remembering that Lingard, despite everything, will not come cheap. Forrest were paying a basic weekly salary of £115,000 plus some eye-watering bonuses, which led to some issues between the players' camp and the club's owners. Lingard is not blameless, and you have to wonder whether, on reflection, he recognises it was a mistake not to rejoin West Ham last season, especially as it meant him not being part of their Europa Conference League triumph, the club's first major trophy for 43 years. Other offers were proposed by Newcastle United and Fulham, with four-year deals under discussion. Instead, Lingard signed a one-year contract with Forrest where he only started 14 games rather than accepting the club's offer of a two-year arrangement. Maybe that was an error too, but he and his advisors thought he would be in a stronger position if he played well for a year, which he didn't, and became available on a free transfer. With that in mind, it becomes easier to understand why Lingard wants to make sure his next choice is the right one. 
His penance comes in the form of 24-7 reminders via the cesspit of social media that he is a shirker and a waster, to go with all the hostile headlines and regular unpleasantness that someone in his position has to encounter. But he's hardly the only player in this position. Former Manchester United teammate David De Gea has been a free agent for just as long, as has one-time Arsenal centre-back Skodra Mustafi, who is also without a club. All have different reputations, but like Lingard, and in what will likely prove a growing trend, they're all seemingly willing and able to wait for the right opportunity. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. With the latest transfer news and insight on every Premier League football story that matters, TheAthletic.com puts you inside football. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.